My name is Frederick Kleist, I'm a lecturer in biomaterials. <laughs> I'm a physical chemist, so during my career I, I developed quite a big interest into biomaterials, kind of rolled in from physical sciences into biology. The importance of an, an interdisciplinary approach for biomaterials and tissue engineering, so where you make um, organs, is very important. You need chemists to make synthesizing materials, material science scientists to structure your materials, and biologists to, to assess the materials in a biological sense. The University of Sheffield has invested to build the Proto Research Institute to specifically address multidisciplinary research, giving a great area of expertise over here for doing this kind of research. In this group we're trying to build up technologies and materials to improve people's life via advanced healthcare applications such as for example um, aiding people who have peripheral nerve injuries and also aiding people who have corneal diseases to improve their lives beyond current standards. One of the big problems with peripheral nerve repair is trying to get the two ends of the severed nerve to match up. The structures I am trying to create um, go around the uh, nerve and help promote that regeneration ability. The peripheral nerve injuries that we're trying to target with this is large gaps, typically caused by uh, motor accidents or uh, things like chainsaws, things like that. This is my stereolithography setup that I'm using. Um, it uses a laser module here which shines through these lenses onto a, a mirror array in order to create the objects that I'm using for peripheral nerve repair, I upload onto the mirrors a circle that reflects up through these other lenses onto this mirror and down onto the stage. I can move that stage using the computer, which allows me to form a 3D structure. The material we're using is built up from many small blocks. The laser light builds them up into a three-dimensional solid structure. I have some tubes here that I've already made. As you can see, they're very small. Once you put the two severed nerve ends into the tube, it produces a, an environment that's conducive to nerve regeneration. Traditionally, uh, peripheral nerve injuries have been treated using a, a graft, which is taken from a, another side of the human body. Uh, this technique is advantageous, these nerve guidance conduits, because there is only one surgery site. You're not working against the human body, you're working with the human body to help heal itself. Although I work on peripheral nerve repair using nerve guidance conduits, this particular setup can be used to produce any 3D structure as long as you are carrying a cross-section of that structure. So I envisage that perhaps in collaboration with the industry, we could produce these machines that could make any 3D structure. Here we have a model of a human eye and in our lab in Sheffield we work in cornea. The cornea is transparent and it's the outer part of the eye so it's exposed to different kinds of damage. If we have a burn or an injury in the cornea, this population of stem cells disappear and they cannot regenerate. This can lead to blurry vision or even blindness. Well, with microcellulitography, we are developing an implantable uh, outer ring which will fit here in the limbus or outer part of the cornea and we are trying to load this ring with stem cells, place them on the cornea and help in this sense the regeneration. We are building some very good expertise and making some state-of-the-art materials and also structuring methods for healthcare. Um, this is a great opportunity to get involved with us.